Hi guys, it's Natalie. We're here at Millwall. We're just one five nil. We are the champions, as everyone can tell. tell. And we won five nil. It was an amazing game. It's just, it just cruise control now. Martha got a goal. So if you've been following for a long time, you'll see that Benny got a flag saying if Martha scored, it was all a big, it was all a big deal really. You know, we had jokes with Chamberlain, we had jokes with Martha, and finally she scored. And he's got a Remington kit, so he's going to get it off. So go follow the Barmy Army, and I'm sure Full Time Devils will tweet about it as well. you are going to see that beard go, guys. I'll see you soon. I hope to see you all down at Lose when they get the trophy. So come down to LSV on the 11th, and let's go speak to the fans. Benji's flag, Martha scores, I shaved my beard. Just got given this, so look on the timeline of United. Ben, how does it feel that like the beard is going now? Amazing. <laughs> I'm still speechless, to be fair. I mean, obviously, we were all screaming for Martha to take it when she, I mean, when she stepped up, what was that feeling like? I was holding my breath, I was holding my breath. I'm not going to lie, I was like, come on, please score, please score, please score. If she missed, I'd have on the floor crying. But nah, thank God. Thank God she scored. I'm happy. Happy Benny. Brilliant. Is there going to be a new challenge or are we just going to see how we go here? Maybe set one for next season? I'll probably, I'll probably set one for next season. You see, see where we go. Come up with something wacky. Well, how do you think Martha Field, what did she say to you, you know, when you were, she was talking? She didn't say much. I think she was going, she's a bit science here. She's got, but she, she said she going to have to save it off. But I thought she might do it though for me. <laughs> we're asking a lot, we're asking a lot, isn't it? But overall, how do you think of that 5 0 champions? It's, it's good feelings, isn't it? Very good feelings. Oh man, I'm buzzing still. <laughs> I'm speechless more than anything. I mean, I'm not really usually lost of words, but I am today. Buzzing that the beer's gone. What's that? Buzzing that the beer's Bill gone. Bill probably buzzing that the beer's gone. <laughs> Brilliant, guys. See you again. Love it. Love it. Hey, guys, we've moved now from the stadium. So. I'm here with Rodney outside the ground. Rodney, what do you think of that today? A smashing, smashing result for the women. Um, the only shining light for Manchester United right now. Uh, I was surprised that the goals didn't come in in the second half as they did in the first half. Great to see Martha score. You know, so I can actually, I can actually say that I saw a Martha Harris girl uh, goal. Um, disappointed that Lauren didn't score, but in terms of the result and showing what this women's team can do, great stuff. Obviously, you're saying disappointed that Lauren, she got four last game. You know, she's up there fighting for that top spot. So is Tooney, so is Molly. Yeah. Only Jess scored. And obviously, she's sort of pulled out with two goals. Yeah. So anything can happen next game. But what do you think of that top goal score and all the goals that we're getting from all around the park? I think it's really important that, that Casey's got a number of players that can score from anywhere on the pitch. It, if you only had one striker that scored the goals and you put too much pressure on them, I think it's great competition especially between the players, because then they know that they, they have to up their game in every single game. So, and, and it's great, and they can have, I'm sure there's a bit of banter as well, like who's going to be top goal scorer. And we as fans, we want to know who's going to be top goal scorer because, you know, we want to say that they truly deserve it as well. And they've been, they've been some, scoring some great goals. I mean, most of them girls I just mentioned that we were talking about, they're all on double figures, and a lot of them are the midfielders. I mean, what do you think of that? I th well, it, it, it shows in terms of strength and depth across the pitch. Uh, double figures for, for midfielders is a great thing. In the men's game, you've got a midfielder that scores double figures, is, is touted as world class. So what it says for this women's team is that they have the ability, they have the skill, and they have the, the awareness in terms of getting goals for the, for the team itself. And, and it will serve them well next season. It's always great speaking to you, Rodney. Glad I can. Um, is there anything you want to add? No, I just think I'm, I'm looking forward to the last game. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the new season actually. I can't wait to see what this team will do in the Women's Super League against a tougher opposition, but I think they're gonna bring the they're gonna bring it as they say. Up the games. Proper. Right, brilliant Rod. Nice you guys, me with Deb and Mark, part of the Barmy Army. How do you feel about that today, guys? Yeah, it's a good match, good match. Thought second half we took a foot off gas, but you can't blame them really. And Mark? Yeah, same. I thought the first half very very professional performance. Uh Second half, we should have gone for him. They're there for the taking completely, but we just stopped. I mean, obviously, we have we have um, played a lot of games away home, and you two have been ever present. They haven't been every game, as Dev said, but you've been every present. A bus now. I think we're causing a yeah, bus yeah, behind. Yeah. Uh, to go in. Um, no. Oh, wait. You asked me something. Yeah, you, you two. Yeah. All of us. Barbie Army, ever present. I've always said it. I've always said it. Okay, I love this team. We'll be there with them for all the time. And obviously, it's coming next season. 
What's your thoughts about it going up and playing against the big boys, big girls? It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Mid-table. Bring them on. Let's see where we are. Just bring them on. Right. Guys, any more? Any more? Excited for Sunday? Sunday? Sunday. Two, two weeks. Two, two weeks, weeks time. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to get the league. Buzz in. Buzz see you later. Thanks. Hey, guys. Mary Sarah, Mary Cat. What do you think of that today? Fab. I thought we could have had more goals, though. But I'm pleased that Martha scored. Oh, brilliant. Kat? Yeah, I think if you were, if Casey was going to look at it, honestly, I think she'd be a bit disappointed with that second half. But let's face it, it's all about one person today. And Martha scored, so the beard is coming off. <laughs> Obviously, feelings when she stepped up to that penalty. Oh, I just, I just was hoping it would go in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. There, there was that moment where I kind of thought, have we sort of set up something that's going to really put a lot of pressure on her? But, nah, shouldn't have doubted, shouldn't have doubted her a second. I mean, every touch that she's been getting, it's been shoot, shoot. Finally, she's got it. How as fans, you know, do you feel like... It's epic. Yeah. <laughs> the beat's gone. Cut. For me, it was more about just trying to support everyone on the, on the pitch. And, I mean, it, it's great that she's finally got that goal because she be was putting in the moves the last few matches you know she was making some runs in there and I thought she might have scored a one for move and play in the last couple of games but but it's good to get to get the goal <laughs> obviously next game we're getting the trophy we're champions we're going up this is the last away game how's it been the journey and the ways and the ones that you've done how do you feel it's been brilliant it's the aways have been fabulous once I, once I started going to the aways I didn't want to stop and uh, I'll be coming again next season brilliant Kat yeah I've loved every minute um, I've been to more ways than home actually this season just because the way it's yeah. gone um, I, I just love it the, the Barmy army everyone you know we're there and we've been to Palace Lewis we've been to the Arsenal even the games you haven't won Reading Arsenal um, it's been a lot of fun brilliant girls thanks for talking to us thank you how many more do we need? Two. Hey guys, I'm here with Tyler and I'm here with Declan. Tyler, what do you think of that? I think it was good for the football and it was excellent. And it was, Martha was good play. She scored the penalty every time. And when there's one penalty, but mm. they scored 5 0 out of the players. Brilliant, thank you. Declan, what do you think of that? Siggy was absolutely amazing. You like her? Is she your favourite? Yeah. What do you, are you happy when she scored that goal? Yes. And how did you feel when Martha scored her penalty? Good as well. Brilliant. Are you happy now that we're going up, Declan? Yes. You happy to be champion? Yes. Are you happy that we're going up? Yes. Brilliant, guys. Thanks a lot. Hi guys, my name is Sue. Sue, this is the last away game, it's 5-0. What, what are you feeling? Brilliant. Great performance today. I predicted seven this morning, so I was a couple off, but absolutely brilliant performance today. Thought we played some great football. I know we scored five goals, but Martha at the back and Millie Turner at the back were absolutely supreme today. So building from the back through the middle, some great goals. Fantastic performance. Obviously you mentioned Martha. The beard is gone. Everyone's singing about it, everyone's talking about it. What's your feelings? <laughs> I just want to see the video from Wednesday when you shave it off. <laughs> all right, so make sure it's all over Twitter, all over Instagram. Everybody wants to see Ben's beard coming off on Wednesday. Don't worry, everyone will see that. It'll be front page news when that comes out. Obviously, promotion, champions. We're going up next year. Is there any feelings? I mean, I guess everyone's excited, but is there a bit of nervousness? What, what do you think? No, I don't think so. It's um, going to be really interesting to see, I think, how we do. Um, we've not come into the championship to win the championship. We've come in this year to prepare the team for the Super League. And I think that top four is doable. Hopefully, we sh you know, third or fourth would be absolutely supreme, I think. Third would be amazing. Definitely fourth. Well, let's see. So, I'm excited. I'm excited. Brilliant. See you later. How you guys made Andy? Andy, last away game, it's your first though. How's it feel coming with the Barmy Army? It's uh, interesting, it's an experience. It's loud, <laughs> I think that's the key word, loud. Mainly because of you, but yeah, it's a nice way to travel. It's good to get down as part of a group, part of a bunch of regulars and, and stand in a good crowd in a new, new ground. 5-0 today. What's your thoughts and feelings on the score and the scorers? It sounds daft at 5-0, but it was a pretty basic performance. It was 
same as all season, we've uh, won easily without doing anything special. Uh, I think it'll be good to see us get challenged next season and, and step it up. You talk about next season, what's your feelings towards it? Um, excited? I'm guessing a lot of people are. Yeah, it'll be good to see us compete. Uh, it's always good to see competitive football and uh, I think from what we've shown against Super League teams, I think we'll be comfortable in mid-table and maybe a few additions take us challenging for top five, six. Should be good. Obviously, I've got to ask you the big question. What's on everyone's lips? Martha, feelings when she stepped up? I mean, what were you thinking? It was always going in. It was written today. He nearly didn't come. He's here. He's got his two little gifts and the beard's coming off. It'll be fun to see. Thanks a lot, Andy. Hi guys, me Shay. We just won 5 0. It's the last away game of the season. Thoughts? Absolutely buzzing. Last, got in its last away game of the season, but we came here to do a job, got the three points. That was the main thing. Could have scored more, but please, a sponge. Obviously, I'm asking everyone this Martha. It had to be done today or last game of the season. Glad it was done today. Now the beard's finally gone. We'll need a new flag for Martha now, so we'll be get Benji working on that one. And like people have said, you know, five, it's a good score, it's a good result. I mean, what, what's your thoughts on it? To be honest, first half, we played some good stuff. Second half, I think we tried to walk the ball into the net, which if we didn't, we had some great chances. We could have easily gone double figures, but Casey wanted the three points, got the three points, and she would be gutted that we didn't score more, but three points on the board, on to the next one in a couple of weeks. We're going up now, a couple of weeks for champions. You know, how's this season been for you? It's been very positive. You know, Casey threw them together. You know, they've been together four weeks, went straight in. To be honest, kind of walked the league, to be honest. But when we come against the teams in the Super League, we showed that we're good, but it's a good learning progress to take into next season. And I think she'll bring in a few few players next year and I think we'll be ready for it. It'll be tough, but they'll be ready for it. Brilliant, Shay. Hi, I'm Ryan Giggs and you're watching Full Time Devils, the biggest, the best Man United fan channel in the world. Subscribe now.